I'm chatting to Kelly Mitchley. We're going to hear a little bit more about her runners for Friday. Busy start for the yard. Three runners will step out in race one. And we're going to start with more for me. Now, Kelly, a little bit disappointing last time out, but she is better than that. Yeah, she's better than that run. We just ran her on top of each other and she didn't take that run very well. She didn't enjoy the on top of each other. But I think she's fitting well. She's working really well, expecting a decent run from her. Ponderosa Pine, she just tired late. Ponderosa Pine, I think we're going to take the blinkers off. That's trying something new with her so she can settle because I think she just seems to overdo it in a race. And also Sassy, also she wore the blinkers the previous starts, last start. Better effort from her without the blinkers and the start obviously not going to put the blinkers back on because, yeah, expecting decent efforts from all three of the fillies. Moving to race three, let's start with US Open and he has placed in both of his latest starts. US Open, both runs for me have been very good. This is his third start after coming from Joburg for me. Can expect a decent effort from him and launch code. If you can get in the pens, we have been working with him. I think he's the horse to beat. Moving to race four, Bo Carla, what an impressive winner on local and poly debut last time out. Bo Carla, she's improved from her win last time out and expecting also a very nice run from her, public benefit as well. She's best weighted in the field. I uh, see them fighting out the finish. Race five, we'll see Lord Maluri and he really ran a smart race in the Champion Juvenile Cup last time out. Lord Maluri is taking on stronger company. Um, yeah, he's working very well at home. Can you expect also a quartet, nice quartet chance from him? Joining us in Pekka is Quasimodo. We'll see him in race six. Now, he takes quite a step up in class, but he's in some really good form and he looks like a very progressive individual. Quasimodo, he always puts good work up at home. He has come off a, like a two-month layoff, but he's working very well and he might just be needed this run, but um, we are prepping him for other races. Feature of the afternoon, the non-black type uh, uh, poly challenge and over the 1200 metre trip the yard will step out Prince of Fire. Now Prince of Fire is a newcomer, he races of high felt form and it is really useful high felt form. So interesting runner. Prince of Fire, it's his first run for the yard, he has come off a four month layoff. He might just be in need of this run, if he's not needing the run he should run a good race. And finishing in race eight will be Call Me Mr Greenlight. Call me Mr. Greenlight's put up really good work at home, um, expecting really decent efforts from him. I wouldn't leave him out of any quartets. As you can hear, last race uh, from a few of the trainers, they think they have chances, open affair. Call me Mr. Greenlight can get a look in.